really a beautiful day today, folks. I'm out here at the edge of my pond, which, by the way, it's still pretty low. You can see the overflow right there. It's probably 18 to 20 inches low. See it right there? But, I mean, just two or three days ago, there was almost no water in here. Y'all see those flowers down there? That's purslane. Yeah, it's a superfood. Down out there. Even out there, that's purslane all along the edge. Creedmoor propagated that stuff many years ago into his pond because it's an actual food source for my plants. And, you know, the hydrology here is important to the area around. Under my care and custodianship, we need this moisture here because it's basically what blankets this entire pasture. And um, it really does help. It makes a very positive impact on things. Um, I can even turn over here towards my vineyard its impact is felt here as well every night we get a pillow of air and moisture that builds about six feet above the pond sometimes a little further you can see the hibiscus flower right there yeah gorgeous gorgeous plants i also transferred a bunch of my strawberries down here you can see them there they're doing really really well they're on automatic drip irrigation the grapes are doing fantastic I've still got this Concord laying on the ground. It needs to be trellised. But as you can see, <laughs> it's really, really doing well, folks. Follow the Back to Eden method and amazing things begin to happen. Yeah, there's no compost down there. It's all broken down wood chips. I did use soil pockets. There's another hibiscus right there. Creamore loves them some flowers. This is undeniable. Peace, folks. God bless.